it allowed me to reiterate that this was the greatest job of my life and I could mm -hmm. imagine doing nothing else at the end at the end of all of that. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so let's get this party started. There's way too much praise to be made in this call. So I mean We'll try to cut it down because there's also a lot of demos. I just want to warn you all. I know there's so much praise, so much praise, but please try to keep it short because like we have, we have some really big things to, to do today. Um, okay. So first major praise to, uh, and Ivy, you can skip this one because uh, I already wrote it in the, in the channel, but major praise to Santi, Livia and Mitch for that glossary. Holy crap, I don't know if anyone else contributed, probably Nate, uh, but at least those were the things that were on the bottom. Uh, so, uh, wow, the glossary is amazing. I didn't even know it existed until today. Uh, well, I knew it existed, but in depth, wow. Uh, major praise to Fabio and Vitor for uh, hacking together on the Hatch, uh, the hatch Design uh, dashboard that uh, we're going to launch pretty soon. It looks really good, and it's ready for QA if anyone wants to go in there and start designing the hatch. Of course, major praise to Sam and Paulo for all of their work on the Common Swarm. Major advances happened this week, so that's really exciting. Major, and also huge praise to Adria, who's never in these calls or anything, but behind the scenes, he's providing so much value to us, and it's really just like our main insurance policy. The major, major praise to Adria. I also want to praise Sam and Ivy for their work in the transparency group. I, I said this in the stewards call, but it's it's a it's a revolution, seriously, for uh, for DAOs everywhere. It's something to model after one of the many products that uh, we have, and and it's uh, underappreciated, I think, in general in our scene. And also, I want to praise Mitch for uh, pushing me so hard to review his awesome work and uh, and get it up on the forum and just like his is like thrive to put in so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And with that, I will pass it to Cam. Um, I'd really like to say praise again for the hundredth time to Vi. Uh, just so pleasant to work with you and you have so many solutions and they're all so elegant. Christopher Merlin Egalite, uh, you guys are brainstorming up an amazing uh, next version of the, the uh, the Swiss staff, uh, Mitch and Durgadas, because you guys contribute so much, and all of the TEC stewards. And I'll pass to Sam. I'd like to give major praise to Paolo because, um, well, he, I don't know, he's not here today. Uh, he has, uh, he will come later, and he has doing a very, very amazing job uh, this week. Um, and the praises for him. I will pass it to Septi. Thank you, Sam. I actually want to give praise to the dashboard crew. Like, wow, it's so awesome. Like the uh, yesterday we were looking a bit on the on the dashboard and and also the Jake video. So yeah, major praise to Jake, Griff, uh, Victor, Lauren, Mitch. Uh, I hope I don't miss anyone. Uh, also, Sam. Yeah, Sam is not like in the dashboard team, but he's pushing it a lot, so thank you, Sam. Uh, I also want to give praise to Jeff for getting the Instagram interview. That's so cool. Uh, Levi for the mission, vision, value. Like, yeah, this is changing. Like, uh, this is teaching us to uh, go through the, the params later on. And I also want to give praise to Juan for the gravity survey. We have a, a meeting yesterday. We also want to give praise to Dan and, and Durgadas. And yeah, I'll stop here. Uh, I'll pass it to Edu. Hello everyone. Um, I would like to give praise to um, to Livy and Mitch and um, and Nate for the work on the gitbook. Uh, thank you so much for uh, you continue to work on that. Um, I want to give praise to Pam for uh, driving um, in between the chaos of the Hatch Outreach Group and to always give input and feedback uh, to everything that we do. Um, I want to give praise to Griff for jumping into editing the article and helping me with, um, with input for that. 
Uh, I wanna. I don't know if I did it last week, but I wanna dish thanks to Sam for meeting in person, and uh, and also um, similar to the praise that Gift did. Uh, this praise to Andrea, who is not here, but he is really helpful. Uh, I wanna dish praise to Juanca for jumping in with the call with Lauren um, and helping me on board her. I wanna dish praise to Lauren if she's not. Yes, yeah, she's not here, but I still. Um, for welcome and uh, welcoming her to uh, this family um, as a hatcher. Uh, and I will stop here. I will pass it on to Nate. Thanks. Um, I want to send praise to uh, Eduardo and Tam and Griff for the hatcher outreach progress, which is really awesome. Um, I want to praise uh, Tam and Griff for all the edits that you provided for the TEC newsletter. Um, Olivia for the uh, mission, vision, values, uh, just ushering that and just generally the Git book in general. And then uh, I also want to send praise to Mitch for all the contributions you've made with the, the communications working group and all the different areas you're working in. Um, I will pass it to Chewy. Um, I'd like to uh, dish praise to um Tam for for a great uh one on one meeting on, on Tuesday. I wanna dish praise uh to uh Livia and Didan uh for a uh, for a great call. And uh I also wanna dish praise to uh Juan Carlos for uh for all of his progress with with uh, gravity, and um, I don't know if you already went, uh, Santi. Thank you, Chuy. I I didn't go yet. Uh, I want to give praise to uh, the Hacha Rich team. They are doing a great job. I don't hear many many praise to Eduardo, and he's uh, leading a, a great working group. I also want to give praise to uh, to become the that's not here today. I want to praise to, uh, to uh, Nate and Levy and both involved in the Git book. It's an awesome work. It's an amazing work and it's a lot of information packed there and it's looking great. I also want to give, give praise to those that usually don't come to meetings but uh, are doing a, good, a great job like Rosa on the webpage or, or Adria helping especially these days with the uh, all the audits and uh, and just uh, all the ones joining the legal working group because uh, it's great having you around I know sometimes it's a kind of a of a pain to discuss on these legal issues but it's great having you around so thank you I'll pass it I see Mateo there so I'll pass it to Mateo hey everyone um, hope you are doing pretty well uh, this time I want to praise every new member or every new person that is attending the meetings because it's nice to have uh, new people around. And also I want to praise the uh, stewards because, yeah, this is possible because of them and, yeah, they are amazing. That's you, Jess, uh, Juanca, Libby, Santi, Sam, I think you are too, and everyone else that I'm missing as stewards. So I'll pass it to Juanca. Thanks. Thanks, <clears throat> thanks, Mateo. Um, I want to dish praise to Chewy um, because we are having a one-on-one -on -one session um, to see how can we um, relate uh, gravity with one hive. I think that's amazing. I want to dish praise also to Septimus because he's like everywhere and like uh, his door, his work is uh, done with so much ethic and so much good energy that it's amazing and also ivy because she is also present even though she's not here and i also want to praise to jessica and marco for and nate for taking comms i want to praise to Livy because i think that um she's like an amazing leader and someone uh that um every day brings a lot of value in our community i want to praise also to mateo because um he took the lead of of uh, uh, searching for a speaker for uh, this month's uh, Ed Colombia talk. 
And I want to give praise also to Dan for taking the flag for the uh, gravity survey to Durgadas because he's always like giving a lot of, of advice and a lot of relevant information. And to Santi because uh, he's also like um, looking at the at the step by step uh, process that we try to polish for for our um, mechanism of, of uh, addressing conflict. So um, with that, I will pass to Libby. Thanks, Juan. Um, wow, I was slightly unprepared. <laughs> okay, uh, I wanna dish praise to, um, I wanna dish praise to, okay. <laughs> Today we had an amazing uh, sprint retrospective and it was so incredible to see the progress of all the working groups. So I wanna dish praise to Shevnan to be uh, leading the making of the TE survey. Um, I wanna dish praise to uh, Juan to be incorporating so many things into gravity and moving this along and always being so careful with the community. I want to dish praise to Tamara for always being above and beyond. I don't even know how you can do it. It's just um, amazing. And um, I want to dish praise to Griff for being so supportive in all the fronts and always being uh, ready with a solution. <laughs> I feel like you're a solution machine. And uh, I want to dish praise to um, Zeptimus and Ivy for the work they've been doing and also finding like super creative ways to go through the problems they're having, like implementing the bot and looking for solutions for continue to record the calls. It could be something that would easily like be dropped because it's a heavy uh, weight to lift all the time. So finding uh, the best way to go about that and I want to dish praise to Santi for wrapping up the legal work so amazingly. Uh, we did a huge progress with this and now it feels like it's just like one touch here and there and it's uh, like perfect. And I want to dish praise to Sam for pushing so hard to the freeze and for all the tech team um, for, yeah, really like it's hard to understand uh, what is what are the difficulties of something we we don't know so much so it's uh really great that we can trust you guys and uh i want to dish praise to marco for not only uh taking the transition of the comms but also um being vulnerable and uh offering help to the community i think we've been getting to this point of openness and um, realness with each other, that it's super beautiful. I want to dish praise to Jess for being on the on the back, like holding all of the things that come and supporting the articles, the voice, the tone, um, and uh, so many th uh, things of uh, how this culture flourishes in the TC. Um, Oh my God, I'm talking for so long already. I'm gonna pass to, <laughs> I'm gonna pass to Paolo. Thanks, Libby. Uh, this week I would like to praise uh, Gabby for the tech course that he's doing on the One Hive um, Metamorphosis uh, Swarm, where he's teaching us uh, about hard hat and Ethereum uh, developer tools to better uh, create apps and improve our, the way we work with Ethereum. And uh, I'd like to praise the whole uh, tech team <laughs> for uh, uh, helping uh, uh, with, with all the projects that we have, uh, the tech hat front end, uh, the template, and everything else. And yeah. I'll pass it to uh, Nate Sweet. Nate Sweet. Mitch? Yeah, that's me. Uh, I have a short list of praise here. I'd like to give praise to Nate for the contribution content distribution process proposal document. 
uh, praise to Livy for the mission, vision, values, proposal campaign. Uh, praise to Vitor, Fabio, Sam, Jake for the constant work on the Hatch and Hatch dashboard. And praise to Ivy for all the organization work she does in the background. And I will pass it to Jess. Have you gone yet? Oh, thank you. Wow, you guys are so good. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I want to dish praise to Sam because I feel like I don't dish enough praise to him, not only for being an incredible dev wizard, but just like how you are, Sam. I, and I, the chats that we've had, I would love to chat more, just like opens my mind to new possibilities. And I love like the philosophical and like open and the heart that you bring that you just i don't even think most of the people in the community probably even realize because they don't get this chance like i've had to chat with you but yeah just everybody if you haven't talked to sam just go and sit with him for some time um just praise to tam for being the rock the glue the heart also that holds us and i would like to dish praise to griff i also do not praise griff enough I think we all know what he brings. And yes, yeah, Septi and Ivy for the incredible transparency blog and all the work they continue to do. And Santi and Mateo for uh, looking at the reward systems. And I, uh, Eduardo, Hatcher Outreach, Mitch, and Nate for becoming a steward this week. Um, and Chewy. Uh, Eduardo, I think everybody just praise everybody. And I'll pass it back to you, Griff, because I was cool. doing Twitter stuff. Cool. Uh, Sebastian, are you there? Do you want to dish some praise? Wow. Hi. Um, sorry for dropping in. <laughs> um, praise to all of you guys. You guys are rock stars. Uh, deeply in my heart for all the... you moving the humanity to a good, better place. So praise to all of you. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you, Sebastian. And Letty, Letty, do you want to dish any praise? Oh, no, I don't hear anything. Does anyone else hear anything? No, okay. Uh, Letty, if you're there, I think you might have an audio issue. So, uh, check the mic there's like a little drop down guy and maybe sometimes the mic gets switched to something oh you're the last one i think right everyone else is gone yeah no dice laddie oh, oh i want to give you a voice so bad ah oh, okay fine i'm sorry laddie we the show must go on uh oh Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, that was a really nice praise session. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, and we have a lot to praise this round so much. I don't even, I, I think we, oh, hey, Letty. Do you want to try? Still no dice. Sorry, Letty. Okay. So, uh, as usual, I want to uh, start by saying, hey, welcome to the Discord. Love our new Discord. Lots of fun toys, including the Groovy Bot. Have fun with the Groovy Bot if you can. Loving the hack sessions here, especially the meme parties and uh, maybe some silent discos coming up in the future. So uh, be ready. Uh, they probably won't be as fun. I don't want to build those up. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, I'll be facilitating this call. Wonka will be mod uh, moderating. And if you guys have, uh, Wonka leads the amazing gravity group. And if you have any issues with anybody, just even the slightest awkwardness, or if you witness the slightest awkwardness, I have this really cool form that, uh, that you can fill out to just say, hey, I think the relational fabric of this community could be a little stronger. I see a weak spot, you know? See something, say something, help us out. Uh, we tr we're trying to be the most loving community in all of crypto, and we can't do it without you. So, uh, and without your eyes, so help us out there. Uh, also, we have a praise channel on Discord that's really fun to join. 
uh, or sorry, in Telegram, t.me slash TE Praise. Definitely jump in there. And if you have, uh, if you don't have the TE community calendar on your calendar already, holy crap, you're missing out because there's stuff every day for hours. So definitely jump in there. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do do it quick because I really want to give space to all the amazing projects uh, or all the amazing working groups. The, the progress is ridiculous, and I think it's important that you guys all have time to highlight it. Uh, we are really making progress now. It feels like the hatch is really just like around the corner. So uh, we're marching ahead, and the swarms are swarming. So uh, if but if you want to see the nitty gritty details of what we're doing, there's this link right here in the agenda that uh, has all of the little micro issues that we're working on. So uh, we're trying to be extra transparent. Thanks to thanks to Zeptimus and Ivy. Uh, and of course, Tam. Uh, Tamara really leads the effort on GitHub and also happens to lead the community stewards group. So Tam, do you want to take it away and give us some updates? Yeah, so we'd love to uh, give me one moment. Cool. So um, yeah, this roadmap that we see here, the continue marching to the drumbeat of this TEC roadmap. And um, we're using Scrum methodology. And one of my favorite parts of that is the retrospective event, because that's where we really realize how much we accomplished. And I think this sprint was epic, and I'm very excited to, to uh, have the working groups share all of, the info, all of the cool things that they've done this sprint. Um, two of our key takeaways from this sprint is to have a, a SWAT team dedicated to onboarding projects, so outreaching to projects for proposals, and focusing our energy on framing, how we phrase things, and our glossary. Um, the other big thing is tomorrow we start our sprint planning. So our Zen Hub board, which isn't loading, is completely, uh, whoops, not working right now. But give me one moment. Uh, oh no. Yes, it's completely clean and ready for our planning tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow evening when you come back and you look for milestone seven, you'll see everything that we'll be working on in the next two weeks. Um, without further ado, oh no, yes, we have the Hatch update, um, the Hatch team update, which is over 65 sessions, one-on-one -on -one sessions with uh, potential Hatchers and 280 thousand in soft commits so we're it's a machine with the hatch team uh, and without further ado i will pass to santi thank you tom it's great to hear those figures at the end of your speech <laughs> uh yeah i'm i'm leading the legal working group uh we've been focused since last week we started focusing on the proposal terms it's gonna be a a big uh a big document that we have to create to somehow manage the relationship that we will have with, with the teams, uh, bringing us uh, proposals and, and hopefully passing some of them and, and, you know, and, and being able to support them. We're going to be focused on that for a few weeks. We started last week and we, since it's going to be a deep discussion, we're probably going to, are going to take several, uh, several areas of that document every, every week and hopefully finish that in a few weeks just before we uh, launch the hatching phase. So we meet Fridays, uh, and basically that's what we're going to be focused on the on the next week. So if you're willing to get involved in the document that we will use to manage the relationship with the proposal teams, you're more than welcome. We meet tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central European time. And that's all for me. I'll pass it to Juan Carlos. Thanks, Santi. Um, well, in Gravity, um, one of the things that um, I want to encourage um, that we've done recently is to feel free to communicate if they are, have to take, like, if they're taking a vacation or if someone is feeling, like, overloaded with work because, um, or, or if they have to, to, to do or to take another priority to 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 give time to another priority um we have like this hey. rotation we have we have this rotation process that that is posted in the forum and the idea is that uh if anyone um has uh like yes um any change that they would like to do 
or or if they have to take some time off, they can just um, inform or to any of the stewards or or to any of the gravitons so that um, the workload is not like affected by the rotation. And uh, we are also working on a graph that uh, is the thing that we are going to do next uh, that we have our, our session after this call. And that's it. I would like to pass to Hatch Aldrich, Eduardo. Thank you, Juan. Um, hello again, everyone. So um, we are basically, um, sorry, I've seen the, the uh, great face. <laughs> uh, nothing, just a great face uh, putting time as uh, also as a lead, which is completely true. She, many of you uh, ha have been onboarded with her or by her. Focusing mm -hmm. right now, what we are doing is um, we are, on our path to onboard uh, potential hatchers. We have 66 uh, hatchers so far. Um, and we are getting there. We have consolidated our team uh, and our process to onboard uh, hatchers. Anyone in this call, if you're interested in being a hatcher, if you have not, if you are not yet, uh, just reach me out. Um, like Lauren did last week. Uh, don't wait like she immediately wrote me while we were having this call um, so if you feel like being a hatcher more than welcome and then now we are defining uh, the, same, the exact same path for proposals and how we are going to tackle onboarding proposals um, we have something like a SWAT team uh, for doing so and we are getting there um, so in important aspects where uh, and when do we meet uh, we meet on uh, Wednesdays um, 6 p.m. Um, on Discord. Uh, we also have, if you are new to a community and you are new to this um, to this uh, meeting or to the TEC, you are welcome to the AMA calls where we answer any doubt uh, that you have regarding TEC. It's a tag team with Libby. Um, and then we have Hatcher AMA call. If you have doubt, if you are shy or to just um uh, when I jump in casually into a call, uh we have Hatcher AMA call where we answer questions about the hatch, about what is what is the hatch, uh what is being a hatcher and so on. So you're more than welcome to join. Uh and then um of course um as it says in the text, if you have any question, uh if you know anyone any project that you look at Twitter or that you look at Gitcoin or that you donate at Gitcoin that you feel is interesting and is related to token engineering, hey, just send me a message about this uh, this pro this project and I will reach them out. Uh, if you have friends that have projects related to token engineering, send them out, uh, send them to me and I will reach them out. So that will be all. I will pass it on to Libby. Thanks. Yeah, continuing on the onboarding topic, we've been discussing this so much recently. Uh, especially with Katie that joined us to help on this um, on this path. Uh, what is the best journey for onboarding? So I made this quick blog po uh, forum post just with a couple of questions. How can we make it better? Everyone was new in the community at some point, so you probably have insights that will help other people. And what is that thing that like, oh, I wish I knew that in the first day that I joined, but I, I, I got to find that out like five months after. So how can we make that better? And if you have a meme to put on that post, that would be great. I think it needs an image, it's too short. So if you have a good meme for onboarding, please uh, send it to me. And then, and then, yeah, we've been, I mentioned this uh, all the time, but we have the onboarding, the incubator channel. And if you're new, if you have questions, if you want to help other community members that are joining, um, just get there, uh, say hi, offer, offer help or request help. And also, um, I was going to say something else about this. Uh, oh, uh, ViviV uh, did an amazing work of putting the roles together. 
So now he's working on uh, making them temporary. So we're going to have like 40 hours um, that someone spends on the server as a uh, like new member type of tag. So if you spent more than 40 hours in the server, then you probably have a better understanding of how things are going and at least knows how to ask questions, how to uh, navigate a little bit better. Um, and then, yes, we have the mission, vision, and values on token log. I'll have a couple of minutes in the end of the call to also talk about this, but I'll mention now that this is a, a super important step for us as a community to have, um, to, to really uh, own our narrative of a community owned project and a community owned economy because deciding the mission, the vision and the values of um, an economy that is yet to be launched is something very new in the DAO space, very revolutionary. It's really great to be able to listen to all of the opinions. Uh, we're in this fractal environment. Everyone has a different perspective that is equally grateful, uh, great. I mean, um, and we're gonna vote on this and the proposal submissions and the voting ends on Tuesday the 13th. So run, uh, submit your proposal. It's super easy. You can see the, the directions in this blog post. And if you have any questions, please comment on that forum post so other people can see. We create more engagement in the forum and, and hopefully we'll reach out uh, more and more people with that. So the, the sooner you submit your proposal, the better because the votes uh, start to happen and your proposal will have more visibility. And I'll explain a little bit more about how to write it and um, a little bit of the directions we're taking uh, in the end of the call. And with this, I will pass to Zeptimus. Thank you, Levi. Uh, on transparency, uh, this this week we were working on the audit for legal and and params who are should be posted this week. Uh, so go to advice process and check them out. Also, the transparency uh, blog post went live. Uh, yeah, you should read it. It's awesome. Um, and yeah, uh, I I also want to give this prize to Sam and and Tree who are the the, the brains behind. The, this new bot idea. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And we're working on towards that. And, and yeah, Israel is uh, yeah working on this. And yeah, I don't want to waste more time. Uh, pass it to maybe Levi for Working Group Omega. Yes, uh, Shevnan said she would try to be here, but in case she wasn't, um, I'll, I'll give a, a brief update that we've been developing this community survey. Now I'm on the process of putting this into a type form. So soon it's gonna be circulating to our token engineer friends and the TE and TEC communities for us to start understanding who are the token engineers, what they're doing, where they're at, how, how do they get there? And this is a series of uh, surveys that will start with a more um, demographic approach and, and will continue um, uh, to become more philosophical and towards the, the ethic uh, of token engineering. And, and I'll pass to, um, to communications, um, uh, either Jess or Nate or Marco. Yes. You can take it, Jess. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I had a few uh, special things to share. So I was going to um, do that. And then well, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let Nate talk about the, the best blog of the week. So I'll, I'll leave that one for you, Nate. But I just wanted to say, um, yes, welcome, Nate, as a steward um, who has been amazing and supporting the communications and writing and um project managing a lot in the background. Uh, so I will let him share his work and uh, talk at the end here. But first, I just wanted to share 
couple of upcoming things and some really uh, cool research that's come out to support our uh, the token engineering research that's happening in some of the public goods creation that's already happening. Um, but first things first, if you have some time tomorrow and you're interested to kind of get a bit of an introduction to token engineering and learn about CAD CAD modeling, uh, Blair V is hosting, I think YGG will attend. And it's basically going over the CAD CAD EDU course. So I am going to try to jump in there because I've been wanting to take the course and just haven't made time. So this is a good way to like stay accountable if you want to take the CAD CAD EDU course that starts uh, tomorrow at, I guess that would be noon EST and 6 p.m. Europe time if you want to attend. And then um, also the CAD CAD community call is April 7. And uh, Angela and some colleagues will be presenting. They did CAD CAD uh, simulations for balancer pools really cool research so they're going to present that um, next wednesday so i wanted to mention it today because it's before we meet next and then some cool um, articles that came out some dow to dow research that i think is really interesting um, with block science curve labs token kitchen prime dow uh, revolutionary innovative stuff so if you want some good reading for the week and want to check that out um, also uh, the gitcoin uh, research is wrapping the TE Academy research group is wrapping up, but the sessions will continue. And they produced uh, a really cool article about deterring adversarial behavior at scale and Gitcoin grants, basically looking at how people have been gaming the system and tried to fix it and create a more resilient system. And then, um, oh yeah, that was Angelus. So that's it. And Nate, did you want to say hello as our new steward and present? Um, I can share the screen for your news article this week and what's going on inside of the yeah, that we can read about. Yeah. So uh, thank you for uh, having me as a, a new steward. Um, been helping out with the communications group a lot. Uh, but before I start, I would just want to say, that, you know, Everybody should welcome Chewy to the communications as well. He's going to be taking on a huge role. Um, and we're really excited to get him up to speed and, and taking charge of things. Uh, we have our blog post, uh, which is uh, several blog posts, actually. Uh, this one is the TEC mission and vision and values mm -hmm. and introducing the first generation of Gravitons, where we kind of go through um, the Swiss membership DAP, the, the process for proposing the MVV and how we're going to be voting mm -hmm. on it as well as introducing the first generation of Gravitons under Juan's uh, uh, training and guidance, uh, who is going to be contributing a lot. Uh, we wrapped up the uh, Gitcoin round nine. Um, and uh, yeah, the praise uh, impact le our leaderboard is up on this article for your, anybody to follow uh, to keep track of uh, your impact hours before the hatch begins. Um, uh, also, with uh, the other articles that we have in our medium, uh, Zargum came out with a, an amazing engineering ethics in Web3 article that if you haven't checked out already, you definitely should. Um, it's worth reading. Uh, also, in, on that note, uh, I know Jess mentioned before, a lot of really interesting research and doubt to doubt uh, uh, interactions are, are being written right now, which is fascinating, and I've got, a, got the opportunity to keep up with it. Um, but uh, Zargum's article in particular is a huge help for this uh, this community and in, in getting uh, some some much needed attention uh, to, towards the work we're doing here. Um, uh, along with that, we have uh, the transparency in DAOs that was written by uh, Ivy and um, uh, Zep Septimus, uh, which, which gives a good get good explanation on the importance of transparency in DAOs and how we achieve that. Um, so other than that, the communications group right now is really just hard focus on hacking into uh, the content distribution process and making sure that we have something that scales with the community and where we can get people involved in different areas. So if you have interest, interest in editing or being part of a publication group or being part of uh, the social media team that distributes this, this, these pieces of content for the community, uh, please reach out to the communications uh, working group and we'll get you involved immediately. So, um, but thank you, Jess, for, for that introduction. And I'm really uh, glad to be a part of the stewards group. Now I'll pass back to the living. 
Sure, I can take it. Uh, let's see, I can't get this to load. Come on, load dashboard, load. Uh, maybe too many people are playing with it right now. But I, uh, so, oh, so for the params working group, I just wanna, I'm gonna step in for Jake today. Uh, we have uh, uh, been updating the hatch a lot, the hatch dashboard. Uh, the hatch design dashboard. It was super cool. We actually used the hatch. To, oh, here, here it is. So you can see we removed a bunch of sliders uh, and only so that we could highlight the main portion that needs to be uh, played with when you're designing this, which is the which is the impact hour rate. So the rest of these are relatively like easy to think about and understand how they affect things once you understand what they are. But the impact hour rate and impact hour slope are very non-intuitive. So it's important to have them highlighted with sliders here. And we actually used this. This is the test hatch dashboard. We used this to design uh, the, the test hatch that we're about to do. And we're starting to add uh, memes for errors If because uh, you can design this in such a way where, uh, let's see if I can pull it off here, where the cultural build tribute is over 100%. So we have a nice meme here. Uh, to make sure uh, that people don't make these problem, make these mistakes. Uh, also, we improved we improved a lot of pieces in this, um, and even added some memes here to really get people excited about uh, about updating their results and getting some outputs for their inputs. Uh, major props to Fab Fabio and Vitor for all their work here, and Jake and YGG and all the supporting team. Uh, other thing I want to highlight is let's see we uh we are boom, boom. oh uh a major a really awesome forum post by uh mitch out here for let's see i have it oh yeah here it is applause voting a huge a new governance method uh that has a mitch tribute uh really great man really awesome uh to uh minimum claps per minute uh, but I highlight this mostly to also say, hey, don't forget we on Medium, this applause applause voting is a real thing. So if you uh, happen to be cruising on our Medium, make sure to hold down that 50 clap button. And uh, let's let's get, especially on Zargam's article, let's get that thing, uh, like have the algorithms be positive, be looking at us in our favor. Uh, yeah, and then we have token log. Uh, Mitch had a, another great post uh, on the forum, which, by the way, if you're not watching Mitch on the forum, uh, it, it's, you're missing out because I don't know how to get quickly to his other forum posts. But he does a great walkthrough of how to uh, rock the vote on the MVV. So a uh, really great understanding of why, how the quadratic voting on the mission vision values works and a little walkthrough on how to make a proposal. So really, uh, he deserves 10,000 hearts here, okay? This is a really great proposal or a great uh, illustration, making it easy to understand quickly how to use token log and how to optimize your strategy for voting. And let's see, I think there, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Jess already highlighted how awesome the lab sessions are. So definitely try to make it to that. But, uh, but I think what's more important is, is the action from Common Swarm. So I'll just jump in. Uh, Sam, do you want to tell us, uh, tell us the good news? Yes. Um, last week, I couldn't come because um, time zones. But I had the, the same day a meeting with Adrián. And we had been reviewing uh, the, all the Hatch applications. And, and the hatch flow and all the, also the timelines. He's, of course, he's still reviewing everything, but the, 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 re, the reviewing of the contracts has already started. And what is even better? Well, I, I guess that we can call it hatch freeze. You, you know, there are always things that are missing, but it's it's we can call it for done um we on we have the the good uh, the okay from adria uh, we can we, we can have it uh, we have all the tests working there, there was some missing things that uh, are, are not uh, they are not anymore missing uh yeah 
it has costed a lot. Also, uh, we have a, a demo today because uh, we have been many time, uh, many days without demos. Uh, we we worked with with Griff yesterday on selecting the parameters with the token lock, and we have almost everything prepared. Um, the network is giving some problems, so we could not deploy the, the contracts <laughs> again, <laughs> but uh, it should work. Um, I will uh, pass to Paulo, and he will show you on on local uh, how how is the um, which are the change, the changes in the in the front end that he has been working on, and. We hope that we can deploy the contracts today. And, and so the, the next week, what we are going to do during the next five days is to contribute to the hatch. And then, that's the most interesting thing, on the next Thursday, we can do the demo of the vote to migrate the, the funds to the new DAO. And of course, review um, how much uh, we have received, of the we are not going to have a lot of of funds for this the, the maximum amount that we can reach is 500 so uh, it's just a test but it is interesting enough to see how can it vary the amount of mm, tokens that people receive in in relation of the impact hours that they have done and the amount of money that the hatch raises uh, and i am going to pass it to paulo are you here yes thank you sam so i'm gonna share my screen uh, one moment uh, okay Of course, it, it always happens in the demos. <laughs> you cannot the mm -hmm. the thing that you don't expect to fail, it fails, and we could not change it on time. But uh, yeah. he has working on local. I also want to just say that uh, if you can keep it to about five minutes, so Olivia has time to present the MVV, it'd be pretty awesome. Yes, it will be a short demo. So uh, this is not the demo that we wanted to uh, want you to play with. Uh, the new demo will be will have a, a, speci a specific params for it. But in the meantime, uh, I can show you guys um, the the progress related to the front end. So basically, uh, we add a new section here um, on the contribution panel, where you can see not only your your contributions uh, to the hatch, but the 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 hatch tokens that uh, you receive, and uh, there there are mainly uh, two sources from where you can get these tokens. First, the ones that you get from contributing to the hatch and, and the impact hours uh, rewards. So for example, here, uh, well, I have a lot of tokens uh, because we we were uh, tooling with the patterns, but uh, here we can see that I have almost 100% uh, of tokens from the impact hours rewards and only 1.7% that come from the minting. So um, as Sam told you, the idea is to um, deploy the DAO with the new parent and so you ca can contribute and the next week we'll do the vote to migrate the, the funds. So yeah, um, we also, <clears throat> fix some tech UI uh, component um, a style, um, stylings and, and some bugs. And uh, uh, we change uh, some labels on the buttons too. 
and we also add the uh, this uh, spinner here that uh, tells you if you are minting, if you are assigning a print transaction or or signing the contribution transaction, so the user can uh, so the user knows uh, which uh, which transaction he is signing. So, for example, here I'm donating uh, zero point zero five uh, dice to the hatch. Um, and uh, because I'm donating um, to the hatch, uh, my impact rewards should increase uh, based on the impact hours uh, formula. Uh, see, let's go to so you guys can see it better. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the transaction is being mine. Oh, thing happened. Oh, yeah, this is the error related to the network part. It should update here. One moment. Well, one of the interesting things that we have to tell, I, I think, is that oh, yeah. when the hatch is closed, um, after one day, you will be able to redeem your tokens uh, if you decide not to go with the hatch update, which is something interesting. You can get money from your impact hours if you want. This is yeah. because you receive the ECH tokens for your impact hours, and you can redeem them if you if, if you decide to. This is something that is part of the next week demo. Yeah, so as you can see, I contribute with uh, two T dice, and my impact hours rewards increase uh, because the do the hatch uh, uh, raise. Uh, in, uh, increasing. So now I have uh, 2.6 million of uh, test TEC text. So yeah, uh, the idea for the demo is to see the whole process from the hatching phase to the migration and see and, and show you uh, guys how to redeem and how everything works. So yeah. Uh, we're still working on new changes to the front end to uh, to to make it a little more intuitive and improve some components. Mm -hmm. And I think that that will be all. Yeah, I just want to add that this week they're gonna this this will be deployed and Kaga Tio is gonna strike again and airdrop a little bit of uh, Raptex die to everybody. Uh, so oh, uh, it's gonna be deployed on X die, right? Right, Sam? Yes. So everyone's going to get a little bit of wrapped X die, all the C stack token holders, and you can actually start to play with the hatch. It's going to be really interesting. You'll, if you get a chance, please try it because uh, when we'll post, I, I assume we'll make a forum post and we'll spam it everywhere pro, uh, so everyone can give it a shot uh, because you'll get to see how the, your impact hours really the the value of impact hours and the amount of funds that uh, uh, you get to keep if you're putting money in and how much goes to impact hours. This dynamic is really interesting. So I, 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 ho I hope that you guys, and, and we tried to design it so that it would be interesting. So uh, uh, thank you to Vitor and Fab Fabi Fabio for getting that hatch that hatched out uh, design to work so, so we could play these games. But uh, I really recommend everyone try it because uh, getting your hands dirty, it means so much more. Uh, but with that, we have a very quick spotlight today with uh, our the one and only Livia. So, uh, Livia, do you want to take it away and tell us about the MVV? Yes. Let's go. Let me share my screen. <laughs> so, vision, vision, and values token log session. I'll quickly give an overview of this um, forum post and why. That we have a TLDR, but why it might be important to give it a read. 
So there is more information to how we go about uh, the proposal. So we are revisiting the mission, vision, and values because we already had a quick iteration uh, as the first step ever we gave to the, with the cultural build. And it was a very fun session. Uh, you can look at this mural board and see all of the progress that happened there. And there's still some really cool uh, key insights in the mural board to pick up from. But uh, we didn't have such an amazing decision-making process as token log back then. So now it's a whole new level of um, how we are using all of the different uh, governance streams we have. And Jess is writing a really cool blog post about this, about the polycentric governance uh, we are applying into the TEC. And this is a great uh, case for token log mm -hmm. because it allows it allows us to curate uh, proposals. So when you come here, you see all of these proposals that are um, that were submitted. We don't have that many, so this is a, a call to action. It's really important to have the most proposals possible uh, because the, the fun thing is gonna be playing with them. So we can open one proposal, for example, mine is here and uh, oh, I like the way she wrote this first phrase, but I don't like all the rest. So you can like copy and paste and um, open a new issue that it's super easy. You click here, new issue, and then get started. And we have a little template that Christopher uh, was super kind to put up. So oh, hey, Olivia. No, no, I, I wanted to add, if you go to the, uh, the your, your issue, I want to show people how to copy it in a really easy way. So if you go to that advancing TE, I'm sorry to interrupt, but and click the three dots. M mo many of you have this power to go to edit. And then you can copy and paste the whole thing in the markdown and then just paste that into the other issue and you'll get the good <laughs> formatting and all of the good magic that you want to see. Sorry about that. Yes, no, that's perfect. And remember that GitHub, it's like very transparent. So you shouldn't do like me, like change your mind about the title all the time and then you're gonna look like a bull. So um, the, the, awesome, <laughs> the awesome thing about playing with token log is um, that we'll be able to see all of the fork decisions and we can name them. So today Juan made a really good question of uh, why if I just wanted to change a word uh, of a proposal and I, I didn't want to submit like a whole new thing. So he didn't like the word cementing about Griff's proposal. He could come here and say like, hey, can we substitute cementing for something else? And maybe Griff will say, uh, no, uh, I like cementing or he won't even reply because maybe he didn't look at it or, um, how um, or how things are flowing, but maybe he will look at it and say, oh yeah, I agree with that. Maybe I'll change that. So uh, we have a very collaborative culture and um, it's really nice to have this advice process happening all the time. So maybe, um, so in this case, if uh, Griff didn't accept to change as Juan suggested, Juan has all the incentive to make his own proposal and then we would have all of this connected uh, proposals in the end to look at. And uh, I know we're on top of the hour, but really quick, we're gonna uh, close this round on Tuesday the 13th. And if there is not a clear winner, like for example, if it was now, uh, Griff's proposal would be the clear winner. But if a few other proposals were here with also like 50, or uh, 48, I don't know, close to 61, then we would look at all of them. And um, the stewards would have a couple of days to put them together, the ones that um, are most similar to each other and create this um, rouse of proposals that will go for a second round. So in this second round, um, that would be from Tuesday 13th to the next Tuesday, we would have the, the final winner. 
So it's super exciting. I hope you guys can uh, jump in there and submit a proposal. Thanks, everyone. Well, Sorry, going over time. No, thank you, Livia. And I think it's important to note that token engineering is not just about CAD CAD models and technical design. Tokens and token economies are socioeconomic systems. And this is a product that actually a lot of team, a, a lot of communities would like to use for de for their initialization process. So this is actually something that we should also consider funding with the TEC uh, if we want to make this something that is easy for other people to use. And the other thing that we should fund th that is similar like that is Gravity, uh, the, our first cultural product of the TEC. And the, the Gravity Group is meeting right now, right now. So uh, I will, I'll see you all there. And thank you for the amazing sprint. This is a huge, huge progress this week. Uh, thank you to all of you and, and enjoy your week.